Prime Minister, you keep saying, don't panic. I'm not panicking. Be patient. Have mm. confidence. Mm. But when you look at all the deaths, all the people unaccounted for, mm. all the homes lost, mm. at what point should we start to worry or panic or be concerned that firefighters can't, or and authorities can't do anything to stop the sort of weather we're having, the sort of bushfire seasons we're having, and that we've got a real long-term crisis starting to begin here? Well, there's no doubt natural disasters are, are, are termed that way, Andrew, because that's what they are. They are natural disasters and they wreak this sort of havoc uh, when they affect our country as they have for a very long time. And the scale and length of this bushfire season is something I've referred to now on many occasions. I mean, the first uh, fire incident that I attended with Jenny was back in Canungra, back in September. And uh, these fires have ranged through Queensland, South Australia, New South Wales, Victoria, Tasmania. Um, and there were concerns in Western Australia. So that is all true. But the best way to respond is the way that Australians have always responded to these events. And that is to uh, put our confidence in those who are fighting these fires and are experienced and know what they're doing. Uh, the agencies that prepare 24-7, seven, seven days a week, that's what their job is. Emergency Management Australia at a Commonwealth level, its task is to ensure that in times like this, there is a fully coordinated response between the Commonwealth and the states and even at the local level. And the payments are appropriate and they're triggered and they're actioned and that's what's occurring. What we're saying is we, have, we cannot control the natural disaster, but what we can do is control our response. What we can do is support those who are out there putting themselves at risk by showing the patience and the calm that is necessary that enables them to do their job. And we need to do that for as long as it takes. And it'll cost whatever it costs to ensure that we can continue to deploy this very well-coordinated response. In the midst of the disaster, uh, I understand the anxiety and I extend, understand the fear that is there for many. And I understand the frustration. But this is a natural disaster. And natural disasters are best dealt with through the methodical, well-coordinated response that we're seeing today. If it were not for that response over these many months, and you're right, Andrew, we have seen far too many lost, and as the Premier in Victoria has just indicated, still many unaccounted for in a lot of these small communities in East Gippsland. And it will be some time before we're able to know uh, where they are and if they're, if they're well or indeed they've been lost. But the way to ensure we do that job, whether it's an evacuation, the medivacs that are occurring as we speak, is to continue to do it in the responsible and well-coordinated way that we're doing. Had we not done that, many more would have been lost and many more properties would have been lost.